Hello, Digital Gates Level 2. Let's get a question. Right, we just have to work through and work out what the output should be. Well, this is an OR gate, so its output will be a 1 provided any of the inputs is a 1. And this input here will be a 1. C is 0, so going through an inverter, this point here would be a 1 which means that the output of this OR gate will be a 1. This is a buffer, which has no effect, so this is still a 1. Answer, it will be 1. Ah, these are more fun. A circuit to implement the truth table. Well, this is only a 0 for this particular case, when A is 0 and B is 1. And there's a couple of ways you can do that, with a NAND gate or with an OR gate. I'll do it with an OR gate. I get a two input OR gate here and wire that up to the output there, then that is only going to be zero if both of its inputs are zero. And that would happen if A goes straight in and I need an inverter because I want the output here to be zero when A is zero and B is one. And if A is zero, this will be zero but I want this input to the OR gate to be 0 when B is 1. So I need to connect an inverter in like that. And that should do it. If you want to delete a component that you've put in, by the way, the easiest way is to just drag it off the screen. To delete a wire, you right-click on the wire. Better put it back in again. An inverter. Connect into there. They don't have to be neat. I'm just being pedantic. Um, and that should be fine. Great. Next. Another one you have to think through, the output of this circuit. This is a NAND gate. A NAND gate is only zero when all of its inputs are one. Are they all one? No, this one is a zero. Therefore, the output of the NAND gate will not be zero, it will be one. Another one, a truth table. Well, this, in fact, can be done in one gate. Because if you look at that truth table, you might recognise it as an AND gate. An AND gate has an output of 1 only when both of its inputs are 1. So all I'd need to do is get a 2-input AND gate and connect it up to A and B, and I'm done. This sort of question may take a little bit of time, and the quiz should give you a bit extra time to do these. It's the truth table for this circuit. Now this is a NAND gate, and a NAND gate is only zero when all of its inputs are one. And all of its inputs are going to be one when C is one, B is one, and A is zero. Because when A is zero, then A inverted here would be one. So C1, B1, and A0 is this row here. And that is the only time when the output is going to be 0. All other times, it's going to be 1. I just set these to 1 and submit. Great. Uh, let's see if there's another one. That's just a NOR gate. So I can just get that one by wiring up a single gate. Uh, you can get quite good scores if you just recognize these truth tables. For in this truth table, well, that's just a three input OR gate. So that's only going to be zero on its output when all three of its inputs are zero, which is this row here. Every other time, it's going to be one. That's just a buffer, doesn't affect the logic state. I'll just do one more. Well, that's too easy, it's just an AND gate. Done these, done these. Ah, that's more interesting. What must the unknown input state be? You have to kind of work backwards. The output is a zero. That's an inverter, which means this output of this AND gate here is a one. The only time you get a one at the output of an AND gate is when both inputs are a one. Well, clearly this input is a one, so this input must be a one as well. Now that's an XOR gate. It only gives you a 1 when both of its inputs are different. So we know that these two are different. We know this bottom one here is a 0, because it's B through an inverter. So that is 0. So this must be a 1. Great. OK, 
I think that's enough for level two. Good luck.